Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to automatically export new Todoist tasks to Google Sheets automatically. So the idea is that if a new Todoist task is created, a new row will be added into Google Sheets automatically. But the issue here is there is no direct connection between Todoist and Google Sheets. So that is why I will be using an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that integrates Todoist and Google Sheets. The best part here is a person without any technical background can perform this integration easily. Now before I show you the steps, how about we begin with a real time example. Ok so this is my Todoist account and this is my Google Sheet. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a task in Todoist and see whether the data is added into Google Sheets automatically or not. Ok so the name of the task is Upgrade Macintosh. Ok so this is the name of the task Upgrade Macintosh. Ok and we are going to schedule this ok from today to 31st ok 31st of July. Let me just click on add task. Ok so a new task called as Upgrade Macintosh has been added. So what I am going to do here is we are going to have a look in Google Sheet. Do we have this particular task details in Google Sheet? Yes, we do have the task details. So it is showing the task name that is Upgrade Macintosh. It is showing the time or the date at which it was created, the due date that is 31st of July 2021. And of course we have the ID. So all you have to do, so basically you must be thinking, how did I do it? How did I manage to send the data from Todoist to Google Sheet? So here we have used an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that integrates Todoist to Google Sheet. So basically all you have to do is just build this workflow that has integrated Todoist and Google Sheet and every time a new task is created in Todoist, the data will be automatically entered in Google Sheet. So let us begin the process of building the workflow. So first of all in the new tab just type pabli.com, p-a-b-l-y.com, pabli.com, press enter. Okay so this is the website of pabli.com, all you have to do is just click on sign up for free. Here you can build your own account in just 2 minutes. In my case, I have already built an account so let me just straight away click on sign in. Ok so this is the app section of Pabli. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Ok so at the top right corner you will find a button. Create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am planning to give it as to twist to google sheet. Of course, you can give any name according to your choice. It's totally on you. Google Sheets. To do is to Google Sheet. And let me just click on Create. So when you click on Create, you will find two windows. The Trigger window as well as the Action window. Now we want to send the data from Todoist. So in the Trigger window, we will have Todoist. Todoist it is. Now in the Trigger event, how about we make it as New Task. Ok, so New Task is a Trigger event. So basically what we are going to do here is first we are going to integrate Todoist to Pabli Connect. So to begin the integration process we have to follow these instructions. So first of all we have to log in to your Todoist account. Of course we have logged in and then you have to create a new app button after clicking on app management console. So all you have to do is just uh, click on app management console from here. Ok so actually we should have uh, opened this in a new tab. Ok it's an error from my part. So once again let us go back and add to twist. Ok we should have opened that in a new tab. Ok that is why we have this problem now. Ok so just click here and open this in a new tab. Ok and after that we have to create a new app because that's the next instruction. We have to create a new app button. We click on create app button. Ok so how about we give a name to this app button. I'm going to give it as T Google Sheets. Ok to do is to Google Sheets that is why. Of course you can give any name according to your choice, it's totally on you. And let me just straight away click on create app. Ok so the app has been created. Now what's next? Now we have to create test token button. So let me just scroll down ok and here you will find test token. Ok we click here. So what's next? Now what we have to enter the webhook URL. So this is the webhook URL you want. Copy this and simply paste it here. Ok. Now the final step that you have to opt for the item that is added. So all you have to do is just click on add it and just click on activate webhook. 
Okay, so the webhook has been activated. Essentially, this means that we have integrated two ways to public connect. So what we are going to do here is once again, I'm going to create a new task. Okay, so how about we create a task and uh, I'm just going with uh, this particular uh, project. Okay, and the name of the task is let's say upgrade upgrade Ubuntu. No, how about upgrade Windows 10? And I'm going to schedule this till 28th of July. Okay. And let me straight away just add click on add task. Okay. So we have added a task called as upgrade windows and this will continue up to July 28th. That's the due date. So let's have a look since public connect is integrated with two twist. Has it captured the details of this particular task or not? Yes, we do have the details. So this is the content or basically the event or the task that is upgrade windows 10. This is the time at which when this event was created and this is the due date. So basically we have got all the information that we needed from to twist. Now what's next? Now we have to send this data to Google Sheet. So to help you understand from scratch, let me just build a Google Sheet in front of you. So these are the details. Okay. So let me just go to Google Sheet. Click on blank. Okay. So now we have to give a name to this Google Sheet. So to do list data. So this will be the name of my Google Sheet to do list data. Now we have to enter some columns. So I'm just basically copying these columns. Okay. I'm just straight away copying these headers of the columns. I'm just pasting it here. So we have the task name, the creation date, the due date, as well as the ID of the task. Excellent. So we plan to send all this data in this Google sheet, all the important ones. Okay. So what we are going to do here is in the action window, we are going to add the app as Google sheet, Google sheets. Okay. This one. Now in the action event, how about we make it as add new row and simply just click on connect. We are going with the new connection. Just click on connect with Google Sheets. So these are the series of Gmail accounts I have. Now uh, this particular Google Sheet that is to do data is present in this account. So I'm selecting this one. Okay, so now public connect wants access to my Google account. So before I press on continue, let me just tell you something. Public connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. So on the basis of that trust, let me just press continue. Okay, so the authorization is successful. Brilliant. So as you can see, by default, it is showing the select spreadsheet as to do its data. So these are all the spreadsheet that is present in my Google or Gmail account, Google Drive or my Gmail account. So I'm interested in this one to do its data. Okay, so we have selected this one. Now by default, it is showing the select sheet as sheet one because there is only one sheet that is sheet one. That's pretty much clear. Okay, so we have to enter the task name, the creation date, the due date as well as the ID. So we are going with the task name first. So what is the task name? So the task name is this. Okay, let me just show you the task name. So this is the task name upgrade Windows 10. So what we are going to do here is we click here, we click here and we are going to map the name that is upgrade Windows 10 easy. Then we have the creation date. Similarly, we just want to map the creation date or the date added. So this is the creation date. Now this is in a UTC format. It basically means year, month, day, hours, minutes and seconds. Then we have the due date. So the due date was 28th or 27th. Okay, 28th it is. And then we have the ID, the unique ID of the task creation. So this is the event data ID and we have mapped it. So at this point, all you have to do is just click on save and send test request to send this data to this particular Google sheet. Okay, so let's explore. Do we have the data now? Yes, we have the task name that is upgrade Windows 10. This is the creation date. This is the due date. And then we have the ID. Excellent. So before you leave, since the integration is over, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So let me just minimize all my windows one by one. So in the first you integrated to do is to public connect and then you integrated public connect to Google Sheet. So now there's a perfect flow of data between to twist and Google Sheet. So the gist is all you have to do is build this workflow for once. And every time a new task is created in to twist, the data will be automatically entered in Google Sheets. Excellent. So not just these two apps, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with public connect. If you have any queries, please contact us at admin at the rate public.com. Also, the link of Public Connect as well as the workflow is available in the description box. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.